Hello, I'm Bella Ramsey, and these are apparently very important questions. What surprised you most about the reaction to the show? I was surprised that people um, liked Ellie so much initially. Like me and Craig Mason, the creator of the show, we were thinking like it would take a couple of episodes for people to be like, uh, Ellie's okay. But they seem to they seem to sort of like dig her from the get go. So I was I was surprised about that, like pleasantly surprised. Don't put it here. What on the show has helped you prepare for a zombie apocalypse? I know how to curse at zombies now. Uh, I feel like I've gained some experience in stabbing them in the head. So, that's all you need. How does Pedro Pascal smell? This is an interesting question. He smells great. He always says that my hair smells nice. But this is, I'm fully making it about me. He smells great. And um, he always worries that he smells bad, but he never does. He never smells bad. I feel like I should describe how he smells, but I don't. It's indescribable. Actually, his his like jacket that he wore as Joel, like he, he's in like a leather jacket a lot of the time, and that was like his smell for me. Because there was one time like the stunt double um, would be sitting there in his coat, and I like it smells like. <laughs> did you follow the social reactions to the show each week? Yes, and I vowed that I wouldn't, but I did, and it was actually it was actually great a lot of the time. I did have to like like delete twitter and instagram and then re-download it just in time to like post for the show and then delete it again because i would get like quite sucked in it's pretty addictive what have you stolen from set nothing i need to get better at stealing things from um from sets i literally have nothing they gave me uh, actually like i went out and bought my own ellie jeans i feel like i just should have stole a pair of ellie's jeans but i went and bought them from eddie bauer I still have them. They're like my favorite jeans. This is the last one. What piece of advice were you given that you still think about? Oh, I actually have an answer for this. A director called Stephen Dunn said to me once when I was like, uh, I think I was 12 and I was auditioning for like a, a film and he was the first person to, to tell me to use my eyes and like that I don't need to like think about what my face is doing at all. If I like feel it in my eyes, um, then that tells like the entire story so yeah like using my eyes and I still I still do that today like I feel like if your eyes aren't alive you're not no one's gonna believe you like yeah I feel like the eyes are the gateway to the soul right so use your eyes that's that's what I still think about